In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Stream Deck with Streamlabs OBS. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you already set up your Stream Deck, you plugged it into your computer and you installed the Stream Deck software. You also need to go ahead and have Streamlabs OBS. So all you want to do is you want to open up the Stream Deck software just like so, and then you should get something that looks like this. By the way, this process will work regardless of what type of Stream Deck you have, guys, so do not worry about that. If you have the Stream Deck Plus, this will work. If you have the Stream Deck Mini, this will also work, or if you just have the Stream Deck Mark II, that will also also work as well. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this option over here that does say go to the Elgato marketplace. You may need to go ahead and create an account on the Stream Deck marketplace if you haven't already. All right, guys. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and select over here where it does say plugins. Then once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and just type in Streamlabs just like so. Then you want to go ahead and press on this first option. It is completely free and you don't need to like install anything like that. All right. And here's the Streamlabs plugin. So all you want to do is just press on get then it's going to say open stream deck. So go ahead and just do that really quickly. And then there you go. It is now going to go ahead and give you the stream labs extension right over here. So it's basically like a little icon that you guys can go ahead and select on. And then you have all of these different functions over here. So for example, you guys can like spin the wheel, play credits, empty jar, change profile, pause media, change volume. And literally all you got to do in order to configure it is just drag and drop it just like so. And it really is that simple. Then from here, you guys can give it like a custom title. You guys can go ahead and select on the account, the action as well. And there really is just a lot of things that we could do. And you guys could really configure Stream Deck to make it as optimal as possible. So go ahead and play around with all these different settings and keys and stuff like that. Make sure to have fun while you're at it as well, because this is part of the fun of owning a Stream Deck. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.